Opposition leader Nelson Chamisa has condemned the ongoing repression of pro-democracy activists, accusing the government of creating a climate of fear and instability in the lead-up to the 44th SADC summit. Chamisa argues that the root cause of the unrest lies in the disputed 2023 general elections and calls for a proper election to restore peace and stability. Following the discredited, illegal and disputed 2023 general elections, Zimbabweans have not known normalcy or peace. As of now, 78 families and a one-year-old child are without their loved ones. This is because the 78 political prisoners hold different political views and dare to express themselves and exercise their freedom of association. Chamisa tweeted, Chamisa specifically highlighted the case of 78 political prisoners who were arrested on June 16, 2024, while celebrating Africa Youth Day. They remain in custody 45 days later, accused of plotting protests. On the 16th of June, 2024, these political prisoners were celebrating Africa Youth Day before being forcibly taken to prison where they remain 45 days later. In addition, the families of Namatai Kwakiza, a human rights defender, Samuel Gwenzi Civil Society, Robson Share Trade Unionist, Promise Munkilai and Vizimuzi Moyo are without their loved ones for no reason other than their association with wanting a better Zimbabwe. Advocating for women, young people, workers and speaking out against injustices, Chamisa said. The crackdown on opposition figures has been widely condemned by rights watchdogs and foreign diplomats in the country who accused the government of shrinking the democratic space. Chamisa further lamented the persecution of young people, highlighting the dangers of being an active citizen in Zimbabwe. Many other people young and old are spending nights in the prison cells after being taken abruptly and brazenly for no crime but being targets for simply exercising their constitutional freedom of association. In Zimbabwe, being an active conscious citizen and being young has become a crime. The citizens, especially the young people, are persecuted for their beliefs and for wanting better lives. In Zimbabwe, it has been turned criminal to be young, Chamisa said. Chamisa called for unity across political divides to condemn the government's actions. This assault and onslaught on the citizens is a clarion call for unity across political divides to condemn and rebuke these violations. Violence and Injustice Fellow citizens of at SADC underscore news and all African countries, this can't be civilized politics. This is bizarre, abnormal, and must be condemned by all progressives across the world. He added, Chamisa's statement comes amidst growing concerns about the government's crackdown on dissent ahead of the SADC summit, which Zimbabwe is hosting. The government has been accused of using the summit as an opportunity to silence critics and portray a false image of stability. The government has yet to respond to Chamisa's accusations. However, it has previously denied any wrongdoing, claiming that the arrests are necessary to maintain peace and security.